Good evening, my viewers. I'm your host, Logic Core, and today I will be teaching you how to build a beautiful Hobbit hole. Now, this was a suggestion on one of my videos by a user called Gamer Boy, and if you have any more suggestions, I am happy to hear them, and all you have to do is leave a comment down below. And, and to make sure you can actually see your video on the day it is released, don't forget to subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and soon enough I will be able to make your video. So the first thing you're going to want to do when building a hobbit hole is you're going to want to make a hole that's 21 blocks wide and the highest point would be 5 blocks high. And when you do that you're going to want to go to the middle and frame the first three areas with warped blocks, warped planks and place an oak plank in the middle and put a spruce door on top of the oak plank. And then on top of that you're going to want to put bricks and then fill in the rest of the gaps with sandstone and smooth sandstone. The bottom being made with sandstone and the rest of it being made out of smooth sandstone. The You're going to leave some gaps for the windows and you're going to make a second layer that's going to go past the hole but it's still going to have uh, it's gonna. You're just gonna mimic the same thing, except the smooth, the sandstone will actually spread more, about three blocks longer than the original. And then you're gonna want to place a spruce plank at the end of each one. And then you're gonna want to start building up like some sort of staircase with the slabs and some pieces of spruce planks. And you're gonna want the spruce planks for this. Trust me on this one, because when you make the second layer of the roofing, like right now, you're gonna want. It because the spruce planks are to make sure that you don't ha see any gaps when you're building the actual, like the second layer of the roofing. And so yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, and avoid my mistake here, I accidentally forgot to put an extra spruce plank when I was, and I put a slab where I was supposed to put a plank, and you'll see me fix that error in a few seconds. I'm doing a voiceover if you hadn't noticed and uh, I think it's a much better way to do this because of the fact that it's just much it's, for me it's just better to come up with something after I've recorded than just come up with it on the fly. It's not gonna be a normal thing it's just for tutorials it's just for building tutorials for now. And so after that, you're going to want to make a frame for the second layer. There, you see how we left a gap for the warped planks? You're going to want to frame it with uh, brick stairs and spruce trapdoors. You don't have to use brick stairs, but I just use brick stairs because it looks more like the actual hobbit home. Then you're going to want to frame the windows and the door with uh, spruce fences and where the windows are, place a couple of brick stairs. Then we're going to start putting fly, pot, hmm. I'm going to start putting pots and, uh, and flowers in the pots. Then in the middle, so you saw how we put a gap in between the two potted plants. We're going to place a lantern right there. And in the frame where the brick stairs are, you're going to want two bells. 
No, one bell and two lanterns. Now remember, this is just my exterior design. You don't have to do it. Uh, you could just make the frame and then do whatever you want. So over here, the max this is going to be is about 20, what, 29 blocks long and 12 blocks max on height, all right, for the fences. And for the fences, I think you're going to want to use spruce fences, and I put it in a strange pattern. You can play, slow down the video to see what pattern it is exactly. And um, I'll, I'll most likely just leave it there. And then you're going to want to place the three spruce fences right there. And you're already done with the exterior. You just have all you have to do is decorate. So I'm going to show you my way of decorating and how I made it. I made uh, the hole over there is for a lake. A little pond I'm gonna make and the grass paths are where I'm gonna put pumpkins and hay bales but right now I'm gonna work on the lake. So I just filled it in with uh, buckets of cod for the bottom layer and then for the top layer I just put the water where it was needed where it was necessary and I just filled in the spaces where there wasn't where there wasn't a water source so that once I filled those spaces in it would become an infinite water source you know like a pond. And I also placed water there. You're gonna see why in a second. So then I just decor. This is just me decorating the pond. It was just like sea grass and sea pickles. And the and for the interior, I'm not actually gonna show the interior of this video. However, I'm gonna to try to post it as soon as possible. And the reason I'm not gonna show you the interior for the first video is because I want you guys to like. I want to encourage you guys to. Make your own interior, you know? I For the next one, I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide to how I did it. For the next video, I'll just give you a step-by-step -step guide of how I did the interior decoration and the interior frame. But I'm not going to show it today because I actually want to encourage you guys to do your own thing. Remember, uh, for this hobbit hole to work best, you don't want to look in a tunnel. You want to look in a, for a hill and carve the hobbit hole inside of the hill. Now over here you saw how I put bushes near the frame and I'm putting the pumpkins up right here. And next I'm going to be putting on the hay bales. So the hay bales I just put a short pattern and over here I accidentally placed an extra hay bale. That extra hay bale, if you want to make, if you want to make like a little farm for your hobbit hole, uh, just place a stair there where the water is so it, you have a gap there. And that hay bale was actually supposed to be used for the scarecrow. And I recommend using a jack-o'-lantern for that one because, I mean, for me, it's just, uh, it just make it brightens up the place a bit more. And when it's nighttime, you'll see that it actually will keep the mobs away. And, uh, yeah. So the reason I put a scarecrow there and why I asked you guys to make a... Well, you'll see in a second. Right now, we're going to work on the path, and so right in this area, I'm going to put horse dirt. So I'm just going to be digging up holes. Listen, you don't have to do what I do. Personally, I think I could have made the path a bit more decorative, but to be honest, I, I just didn't want to focus too much on the path more than the rest of the actual build. So the path, you can do whatever you want with it. You could just make it a clean glass, grass path without having all the extra detail. I was originally going to do that, but I decided to just do this so it would look more decorative. But you can copy what I'm doing, but just know that it's not necessary. Uh, you're going to want, for this one, you're going to want coarse dirt and mossy cobblestone. And, uh, yeah, so this was actually pretty fun to build, I'm not going to lie. I actually had a lot of fun building this. Uh, you're also going to need podzol puzzle dirt and you're going to want to have it in these little areas where I'm digging it up right now. Grass dirt paths as well. You're going to 
Well, you could just use the grass surf path for the entire thing, but I just wanted to be a little more decorative about it. Now over there you start seeing, now here you start seeing me create farmland. And the reason why is because I decided I wanted to grow potatoes in my little hobbit hole. <laughs> it's a little callback for those of you who watched Lord of the Rings. Little joke in there. So next thing, we're pretty much almost done with the actual build. And you're gonna see that right now I actually forgot about that Podzil existed and I forgot that I actually had it for my path. But I'm gonna first place a bush right there because I decided, well, why not add a bush, you know? Oh, I'm gonna have, yeah. And uh, right now I'm just gonna place a Podzil in gonna make the little holes I'm gonna place the puzzle in them so once again you don't have to do what I do I just decided to do it this way and looking at it back at it now I feel like I could have gone with a more like decorative pattern like making it more branched out instead of just like going in a straight path you know what I mean so yeah I feel like that was a big issue that I had with the grass building path building thing but I'm still pretty proud of the build we're not done yet though, so hold on a little longer. We still have a little bit left to do. So right as I finish with the Podzol, I'm going to be working on the little chimney that's going to top come out of the top of the hill. So it's a little hard to do because you do need to make the little, yeah, like that. You got to place the stairs upside down, but you can't do that without a block to place it on because if you just place it on the bottom block then it's just gonna make a normal stair. I wish there was a tool in Minecraft where it would just let you like flip it or something like that. And yeah that's the entire build. So this is the theatrical release of the Hobbit hole, how to build a hobbit hole. So in this really in this second part of the video, I'm going to be showing you how to build the interior frame of the building. So over here, I put up a diagram, which is how it's gonna be. And it's a little different because I did I actually drew this diagram before I started building. So the walls are actually supposed to be I the way I built it is the walls are supposed to be shared, but it doesn't look like that over here. So this diagram, I just wanted to show you how big each room was. So the first room is 13 by 10, and then you dig a, a little hole that's 11 by 8, which is the, oh no, that's the last room. That's the room at the very end of the corridor. The corridor will be 16 by 3, but the, no, it will be 18 by 5, and the gap that you're going to dig in the middle for the oak planks is going to be 18 by 5. And the other rooms... Uh, the rest of the rooms are going to be 9 by 8, and the gap is going to be 7 by 6. And each doorway is going to be three blocks wide. So, yeah, save a save a, those three sand, those two pieces of smooth sandstone and those two pieces of normal sandstone because those are going to be really important. And also, this is going to be the amount of stuff. No, not the amount of stuff the amount of objects that will appear and it's not accurate in fact I actually was missing some sandstone and smooth sandstone I think I was about let me see uh, I don't know how off I was with the measurements but they, it's pretty accurate and just remember to get a couple more extra smooth sandstone and normal sandstone everything else I'm pretty sure is accurate in fact, the oak wood and the spruce logs might actually be a little bit over, but I'm not sure. Just get the amounts I show you, smooth sandstone and normal sandstone, get a little more, and yeah, that, that's all. 
Let's get into building. See, I already kind of dug out my little hobbit hole. Uh, the diagram is a bit inaccurate, mostly because I did make most of the rooms share a wall. So I did that mostly because it saves the, uh, it saves blocks and it saves a lot of resources. And right now I'm just filling in the flooring of the oak wood. And that's just the first thing I do usually when I build a house and I just flesh everything out. First thing I do is build a floor because, you know, it's, it's kind of weird not having a floor and just falling into gaps constantly. And yeah. Oh, in this area over here, I left a three gap hole. In the next video, you're going to see that I, why? It's for the interior decoration that I designed for my hobbit hole. But uh, you don't have to do what I did. And if you want, if you do want to do that, then you can go ahead and hop onto the next video. Don't forget to do to subscribe and like, hit the little notification bell, all that stuff. Oh, and don't forget to leave a suggestion in the comments. That's always greatly appreciated. It gives me ideas for new content, and it just lets me know that you guys are watching. So over here. I'm just going to finish up with the final room over here, which I would like to call the living room for myself. But you can make it a pantry, an office, whatever you want to make it. And when I'm done with this, I think, yeah, no. When I'm done with this, I'm going to start on the first layer of each of the walls. So I use the same uh, block palette as the outside. So sandstone and smooth sandstone. So right here, I'm just building up the first layer once again like the outside sandstone and the second layer is going to be smooth sandstone as you're going to see in a minute. Apologies for the shaders, I'm not sure exactly why the sandstone looks kind of glossy. I guess that's kind of what it looks like in real life, though I pretty, I doubt that a lot. I don't think smooth sandstone and smooth sandstone is that glossy. But uh, yeah, I'm not bashing the shaders, in fact it looks pretty good, but it's just I don't know, that's my only complaint about these shaders. Uh, anyway, so now I'm going to start with the... Oh, I accidentally make... I accidentally close the gap between these, but the thing is the doorway needs to be three blocks wide. Right now I correct the mistake. But for the other ones, I don't exactly do that until the very end. So I just want to let you... I just want to remind you that you always have to leave the three gap space for the doorways because that's what makes it look like a hobbit hole, the circular doorways. Though I'm not gonna decorate it quite yet. I'm not gonna put the circular doorways quite yet. I'm just filling in the rooms with smooth sandstone and sandstone. sandstone. And uh, yeah. So this build, let's talk about this build. I, <laughs> it kind of troubled me a bit. To be completely honest, it was a really difficult one. It kind of stressed me out a bit, but which is weird, I don't, I'm not supposed to feel stressed, but I guess some builds just do that to everyone. Uh, most This mostly stressed me out, not because of the build itself, but because of the video content that I was making. I realized the first time I recorded all of this is that it took too long. The original video that I made was about an hour long, so it was, I, I kind of, I kind of freaked out a bit when that happened, so, but I was able to use the replay mod. You should check that out, by the way, if you're looking to make Minecraft YouTube videos. It's very useful, especially for things like this. And, uh, yeah, with the replay mod, I was able to make this... With the replay mod, I was able to make this build. And I think it would just really help me out a lot. And over here, I actually run out of sandstone and smooth sandstone, which is unfortunate. So, which is why I said at the beginning of the video, the amount of blocks that I'm going to be using is going to be pretty inaccurate. Which is true, because it was very inaccurate. And, uh... And so... I just have to, I had to go into creative mode temporarily to get more smooth sandstone and sandstone. I think one of the doorways was a bit too narrow, so I mined a couple blocks there and used it to fill it in, but I still had some blocks missing, so yeah, the, the, the block, uh, what you call it, the block amounts are pretty inaccurate on my part. That's my bad. I was so sure I got it right after the fifth time. <laughs> And so, yeah. 
Now I think I'm gonna start with the roof. I think I'm gonna do the roof. So just wait for me to go to the barrel, get the spruce logs. And yep, spruce logs, we're doing the roof. So I start building with the spruce logs over in the third room where my room, where the bedroom is gonna be. And I actually fell in the hole where I was gonna put the decorations and that's on me. But uh, then I move on to the future storage room and I'm actually quite happy about this one. Well, I mean, the interior decoration thing. Really, this video was mostly just so I could show you guys what I did for the interior of the Hobbit Hole. And mostly just for you guys. Uh, I was going to show you this in the interior decoration, but I decided after someone uh, suggested it to me, a uh, personal friend of mine suggested to me that I should do the exterior and the interior, just not the decorations. And I realized, wow, that was a genius idea. I wish you would have told me after, before, before I posted the video, because that would have really helped me a lot. <laughs> but that's what I decided on doing, which is with this theatrical release of the Hobbit Hall build building. And yeah, so you're probably wondering why I didn't finish placing these spruce logs on the last room. That's because I was worried that the spruce logs were not gonna be enough, that the organs wasn't gonna be enough, and I was a bit confused on whether I was supposed to fill in the gaps on the wall. You saw the gaps. But I wasn't entirely sure, so I actually had to go back and uh, do the other rooms first before I went back to those rooms. And it turns out I actually had a bit extra, though I still recommend... So I just finished up the rooms over here, with, and including the hallway. The hallway is actually one of my favorite parts of it. Well, not really, but without the decorations, it's one of my favorite parts. I feel like it's because it's the most decorative. You'll see why. I do the other room to finish what I started, and, I, and then I go over here and finish what I did over here. And uh, after that, I start with the circular doorways, and I finish up the interior decorations. Decorations, I mean, uh, interior frame. So over here, I do the same thing as I did outside, except with instead of brick stairs, I use spruce stairs, and this was an inspiration from a different tutorial. And this was inspiration from the actual Hobbit, Hobbit movie and Lord of the Rings movie, because I, I saw how the circular design was, and I noticed how it was like a dark wood, and dark oak didn't really look like, the dark oak trapdoors didn't look like what it looked like, so I used spruce for this one. And over here, I'm just fixing up the placement of the la lantern. So I just place one over there and leave a three space in between. All right, I didn't do this the first time, but after this, I actually do a thir three spaces after that. And then I place one behind every tra spruce trap door. And I'm going to come over here. Never mind. No, I didn't. No, wait. Yeah. 